We got the chickens in the background and also a neighbor practicing their violin, but hopefully that doesn't get in the way of me talking. Okay, so um, yesterday was my birthday and I'm gonna tell you guys what I did because I did not take out my camera or vlog. I definitely snapped a bit on my birthday, but it was an awesome day. I wanna tell you my philosophy on birthdays, my philosophy on getting presents and consumption and all of that stuff. But before I do, I wanna make an announcement that tomorrow, which is Tuesday, November 15th, hopefully by about 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, my pottery that I've been working on the last two months here in Berkeley making, a lot of you may know if you've watched my vlogs from back in the day, I'm a ceramic potter. I put stuff up on my Etsy page every once in a while, Jay Foster Pottery, and I will be putting up about 70 pieces of pottery, everything ranging from $10 shot glasses to bowls, mugs, $150 teapots. Bunch of different stuff. If that's something that um, you want, I deliver and ship all over the world. So just make an announcement because I know sometimes it sells out really quick and then you guys get mad at me because I didn't tell you. My pottery will be available online November 15th, which is Tuesday around and anywhere from noon, start checking at noon. Noon to uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. My, potter, my pottery will be up, so if you want to support me and also be able to like eat food out of my bowl that I made for you while you watch my videos, it's kinda cool, uh, you can go buy stuff there. I wanna do this video in just one, one nice quick edit because I have so much preparation with that pottery thing. I have to upload each piece, take photographs. Uh, so I'm just getting really excited and I and I obviously have handled and seen all the pots and they look really nice. Um, but uh, my birthday, what do I think about birthdays? Well, first let me tell you what I did and then I'll tell you what I got and uh, my thoughts on just presents and consumption and stuff like that. So I had a very a blessed day yesterday. It, it was my 24th birthday. I was born in 1992. And uh, Izzy and I woke up early and we drove to Napa, California, wine country and took, you know, we didn't go wine tasting because that's not my thing or her thing. She's not even 21. Kind of crazy. But uh, we went to Napa and we took a beautiful hike. We were really surprised. It was super foggy the whole drive. Then we get there and we're like, this looks flat. And we go into this park. Uh, I forgot the name of it now, but I'll put it here or something or in the description box you guys can. Uh, yeah, I'll put in the description box uh, the hike that we went on. It was really freaking cool. Uh, really steep, big mountain, great overlooks. Um, it was an awesome hike. We probably hiked for anywhere from two to three hours. And then we drove into Davis, California, where we got acai bowls with granola, and we ate a bunch of grapes, and we just carved up, and we walked around Davis. It's a really cute, quaint college town. And then we met up with our friends uh, that we know back from Southern California, and uh, we walked around and got to uh, check out, like, they're a very agricultural-minded school, and while this was actually pretty sad because the confined area wasn't that great and there was no like fresh grass the cows were in uh, mud but we got to just get licked by some cows and hang out with cows and it's always just nice to be able to pet an animal even if you wish they weren't there but um the coolest thing was izzy and i got stopped in the middle of the street we were crossing the street in davis and this super uh awesome, cute, maybe he's uh, watching this video, this great uh, older gentleman, maybe 60s or 70s, um, came up to us and said, you're Izzy and Jackson, I had a cardiac problem three years ago and my doctor told me to change my diet, I learned about the Esselstyn, like engine two style, low fat vegan diet, found your guys' videos and everything you do is so great, it makes me so happy that young people are making videos like this and talking about health and you know, my life's totally changed. So we talked with him for like 10 minutes and that's just, that's the best thing. Like that's why Izzy and I do this because we know it's gonna make a difference, maybe a radical difference, like having a cardiac problem, a heart problem and really changing your life to people. And we just wanna put out as much information and truth out there and try to help people out. So that was, that was kind of the best birthday gift I got, honestly, just that validation that the hours of work that I do, mainly for free, that I'm not getting paid very much for, uh, you know, at the moment, it's changing someone's life, so it's worth it. Like the money, if it comes, that's awesome, but I'm, I'm really changing people's lives, and so that was the greatest gift. Thank you, universe, for kind of bringing that to me that day. Uh, what did we do after? We then drove back to uh, Berkeley, unloaded my kiln, uh, that's where all the pots uh, are fired in, and uh, so we loaded up all my pottery into my car, 
and then we came home, made a big dinner, watched some Netflix, and went to bed. So that was my birthday, it was amazing, and I obviously got tons of calls from friends. So yeah, this goes into what I got for my birthday. A lot of people think like, oh, I'm gonna get stuff for my birthday, uh, uh, you know, f f physical items, but I wanna tell you what I got for my birthday the physical stuff and the stuff that's really meaningful to me, which isn't physical. I got to spend the day with my girlfriend that I love. I got calls from my friends and family that they love me and that they support me. That's the greatest thing ever. Um, I got that validation that my social media and vegan activism work is making a benefit when I met that guy. Um, I got to go hiking. All of these things, which may seem like not a big deal, like you could get that on any day, that's still the best stuff. That's that's what I like. And people ask me all the time, are you a minimalist? Because I guess veganism and minimalism is a linked concept, which I'm happy it is because I really believe in minimalism. I can't like, you know, certified call myself a minimalist and like put a pin on me that says I'm a minimalist. Although I aspire to be and there's certain minimalist practices that I try to take into my life. So. Um, when it comes to like stuff, I really didn't acquire too many physical materials for my birthday, which is good in my opinion, because I already have enough stuff. If I need something uh, that I f that I think will f have extreme value in my life, I will get that uh, at any time if I can afford it. And if it's in my if it's in my life, if it's something I can acquire, I'm talking about a computer, a camera, things like that. Um, but you know, I remember back in the day just getting, you know, loaded with 30 presents from my friends or family at a birthday party growing up. And you know, you think that makes you happy and excited because you're a kid. But I really do believe that owning the least amount of physical objects will probably enhance your life. And that if you can reduce your load as much as possible just to the things that truly bring value to you, you will be a happier person in the end because you're not tied down by things. You know, when you have stuff, it's literally physical weight that weighs you down and it clutters your life. And just to purge a lot of that, and, and it's funny, my friends and family might laugh because it's not like I'm a total minimalist. There are things that I probably need to take out of my room, although I don't own that many things anymore. Um, but some of the physical things that I got were that I think found value is Izzy and I were walking around Davis and we found these cool earrings, these turquoise earrings that I think are really rad and I've been wearing the same set of earrings, the wooden ohms, for like multiple months and so I um, didn't really have any other earrings so uh, Izzy bought these for me so Izzy thank you that was so kind she also picked a bunch of local Hychea persimmons in Berkeley and gave me like 10 of them and a beautiful card so that was incredible um, and then my parents sent me a package because they're just the nicest you know Jewish parents ever and they love to give 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 and I've talked to my mom about this actually like please don't send me stuff on my birthday I'm good I have enough stuff if I need something from you I'll let you know um, but you know she kind of can't help herself and that's okay because she's a mom and honestly like so she sent me a package she sent me this shirt which I'm showing you it's a really nice flannel shirt it's very warm it's vegan it's made of cotton and rayon and polyester um, that's definitely a hurdle in terms of presents kind of a vegan tip is let your friends and family know that you don't wear wool and you don't wear leather because I've gotten so many presents over the years from people who just forget and they send me animal products in the form of clothing and then I can't wear them and you want to send them and it's awkward so make sure you tell your friends and family that you don't wear animal products and for them to check before they sent you something so my mom sent me like a shirt and a pair of sweatpants and a little bit of cash and a letter and I gotta say that's very you, you did very good mom because you know as your son you know that I don't like to just get stupid things that are just gonna clutter my life um, but you get me things that I really, really value. And I know it's important for you to, uh, you know, to, to give to your children. So I appreciate it and I take it and I love it. Um, and so that little thing that I just did also, if you're just watching is, is a good way that you can communicate this with your parents too. If they give you things or your uncle or your grandparents that you actually just don't want to bring into your life, you can have that kind of communication. Like I really appreciate that you gave me one or two things of value, but, um, you know, in the future, I, these kind of little, um, tchotchkes or toys or gadgets that I'm not really going to use very often don't bring value into my life so it actually would be a great gift if you just got me one or two meaningful things instead of a bunch of crap. 
Um, what else did I get? You know, Facebook posts, got tons of Facebook messages and calls and uh, I think that that is it. So that's what I got for my birthday. Um, and it was a great day and I loved it. And I'm not really like a crazy birthday person. Like I'm not an anti-birthday person, but it's not like I like parties uh, or anything. It was a perfect birthday and I feel very blessed. Um, and if you want to give me a present, there are so many things that you can do. So you can buy my pottery tomorrow online. You can go support me on my Patreon page and try to make my plantriotic gig my actual career um, and allow me to travel and make better videos and more videos. Um, you just pledge anywhere from one to two, five, ten dollars a month, whatever you can for the value that you get from my videos. And if everyone did that, just a couple bucks per month, uh, it would really dramatically change my life for the better and I would be able to really call this my full-time job. So that's an awesome present. You also get exclusive videos on Patreon that I don't post on uh, YouTube. I do multiple a week. Um, and you can, you know, go go uh, leave a review on my podcast is another thing. If you want to give me a birthday present, that's totally free. It just takes a minute of your time. Hey, this podcast is really cool. I like the interviews. Five stars on iTunes, and that really helps out. Um, and yeah, follow me on all my platforms. Spread the word. Be vegan. You know, go vegan. If if go go vegan for a day if that's the only commitment you can make if you're not vegan that's an amazing birthday present to me you know save an animal's life incredible go uh, make a speech in your class just spread this movement that's actually the best birthday present you can give me spread the vegan movement you know we want to help these guys these chickens uh, they're my neighbors pets they don't we don't take their eggs or anything actually they don't even lay eggs anymore these hens they're just our pets and you know the world breeds them and we got to take care of them until we stop breeding animals for our entertainment at all I am rambling now look at that one cut I'm just rambling so I'm gonna say Goodbye. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate you guys, you thousands of people who give me honestly a reason to be motivated and work every day and to live. So thank you. Much love. Dream Extreme.